Imagine you're setting up a brand new nation. What digital systems and frameworks would you need to enable the government and the economy to operate in the most inclusive, secure, and efficient way, and without having to build the same things over and over again? We've just described digital public infrastructure, or DPI. DPI enables the most fundamental digital interactions within society, such as proving who you are, paying for goods and services, sharing your data, or proving an entitlement to something. DPI is not just software. It includes data, models, standards, and frameworks that together form a foundation to rapidly build digital services on top of. Successful examples include India's Aadhaar Identity Service, in which more than a billion people have been registered, Estonia's X-Road Data Exchange, the UK's messaging platform Notify, which sends 1.6 billion messages a year, SingPass in Singapore, with more than 170 million transactions annually, and Brazil's PIX instant payment system, which is already used by 71% of the country's population. These are all examples of successful DPI implementations. And DPI delivers significant savings, accelerated modernization for governments, increased inclusion and reduced fraud, as well as innovation in both private and public sectors. India estimates it saves more than $31.8 billion a year through its DPI. That's the equivalent of nearly 1% of its GDP. Estonia's DPI saves more than 2,000 years of working time a year, and 2% of its GDP. And when a nation open sources that DPI, it allows many others to reuse it. Australia's Digital Transformation Agency reused the GovUK Notify code base, in which the UK government had spent three years and millions of pounds developing and running, the Australians implemented their version within two months and a cost of less than $100,000. Several African nations, including Morocco, Madagascar, Uganda, are all reusing MOSA, an open source identity platform. And Estonia's X-Road is being reused by more than 30 countries, including Brazil, Finland, and Japan. The cloud is a powerful enabler for DPI, providing the scalability, security, and flexibility necessary to meet the demands of these nation-scale implementations in a cost-effective way. DPI is having a huge impact on people's lives worldwide while saving taxpayers billions of dollars. I think it's a real game changer for how governments deliver digital public services and stimulate innovation in all sectors. If you'd like to find out more, please get in touch at digitalpublicinfrastructure at amazon.com.